So today's video is going to be my March favorites. We're going to be talking about all of my favorite products in the month of March. Since this month has been the most productive month of my life, I have gone so many places. I've done so many things. We must have a ton to talk about today. I'm obviously kidding. I know most of us have been home for the majority of the month, but surprisingly, I have a couple things I want to share with you guys that I was really, really enjoying in March from the comfort of my home. Obviously, I know it's a really scary time right now for all of us. If you saw my recent video, I spoke about it a little bit. It's a very anxious, sad, crazy, crazy time at the moment, and I'm hoping that my videos bring you at least a little form of entertainment, or I hope my videos have been a little bit of a getaway for you guys. And even though I admit it seems really weird just continuing beauty videos as if nothing, even though it feels really, really weird to do that, I think it's also necessary for us to have an outlet to really just unwind and try to forget about our problems for a little while so thank you for being here with me today thank you for taking the time to watch this video let's talk about some good good stuff one thing I want to mention though my situation here what's happening so I normally film right in front of my computer desk not not in front of my vanity this is my vanity but I'm trying to figure out this room I'm trying to figure out what setup works the best obviously I prefer having the natural light right in front of me as opposed to behind me like the windows are right here so I feel like I look a little washed out in this setup I need to figure this out because I want to be able to film in different parts of I haven't put fr pictures in my frames yet. I'm sorry. Please ignore these two pictures. That picture came with that frame and this was part of a TikTok I did. So uh, ignore the puppy in the cup. I'm not crazy about this setup, especially since it just looks like a random black thing is hanging from the ceiling, but that's a plant of mine. I want this to be aesthetically pleasing for you guys. So I, I need to work with the decorations and work with the setup. Give me a minute. I know I've been taking longer than usual. I'm actually going to put pictures in these frames this weekend. I'm gonna focus on finishing this room this weekend so I can get you a room tour next week because these current light bulbs I have on right now are not working. They just don't illuminate my face the way I want it to. So I need new bulbs and I was actually waiting for those bulbs to come in before I did a room tour, but I'm just gonna do it the way it is like this because with this virus, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get my new light bulbs. So a room tour with details about everything will be coming soon. I know, life has been crazy. By the way, if you hear like a little noise in the back, it's probably my diffuser that's on right now. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with hair. I have two hair products I really, really wanna talk about. This guy I have been loving for like three months now. I can't get enough of it. I feel like I have to talk about it. I got this off of Amazon and it is a hair scalp massage shampoo brush. And I feel like I cannot wash my hair without this now. It's pretty much exactly what it's called. I use this guy to really scrub the absolute crap out of my scalp when I am shampooing my hair. I don't know about you guys, but it's really hard for me to get the buildup out of my hair with just my fingers. I find myself taking a lot longer in the shower when I am using my fingers. Like if I'm just shampooing regularly like this, I feel like I take longer and my hair isn't as clean as when I use this puppy. This is a godsend, guys. I'll just pour my shampoo either directly onto this brush or directly onto my head and then I will just start massaging my scalp and really getting all up in there and cleaning my head and it's amazing not only does it give your head a really nice massage which massaging your scalp is really good for hair growth and it's like good for like the hair follicle and stuff it gets the shampoo all up in your hair like you really 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 clean your head when you use this guy and I love it and at first I thought this like rubbery bristle situation was gonna pull my hair but once your hair is like soapy and shampooy and wet it just like glides right through your head and it is Amazing. I feel like I cannot wash my hair without this thing now. It's crazy. And then the other hair product is actually another hair product from Not Your Mother's. I spoke about their Curl Talk mousse in my last month's favorites, but today I wanna talk about the Curl Talk Refreshing Curl Foam, which I am loving so much. After I spoke about their mousse in that February favorites video, they sent me a care package with a bunch of their Curl Talk stuff, which was so nice. And I've been slowly trying out some of the products here and there, and I have completely fallen in love with the Curl Talk Refreshing Foam. This is kind of like a styled extension in a way you use this product in between washes so for example I'm currently on day four hair and the day that I washed my hair obviously I did my leave-in conditioner I put in my product I used the curl talk mousse it was beautiful and that mousse truly makes my hair look nice for a couple of days but when I'm already hitting like day three and my hair is starting to look a little bit frizzy a little puffy like it really doesn't have that much product in it anymore it just looks like worn you know that's when I will go in with this now this comes out in a very similar way like it, they're both moussey but this is definitely more of a foam versus the mousse that's like 
a, a mousse. <laughs> this is so much more lightweight. You feel it when you start to like rub it into your hands. It has a very watery texture and it's very, very lightweight in the hair, but it just revives your curls. It like brings your hair back to life without adding too much product in your hair. Because for example, if you're constantly doing this with the Curl Talk mousse, like if you're adding more every single day to your hair to try to refresh in your curls, after like day four, your hair is gonna be really weighed down and there's gonna be so much product in your hair because that mousse is a lot heavier than the foam. Am I making any sense at all to anyone? Because I feel like I am really struggling to explain this to you guys. But basically, this is just a way to bring your curls back to life without adding too much product in your hair. It defines the curls again, it makes it shiny again, and it helps you extend your style without having to wash it that frequently. It honestly just is a really great refresher for those of us with wavy or curly hair. It's a lot more manageable and just a lot more lightweight than the Curl Talk mousse. For example, I would never use this as like my styling product right after I take a shower because personally it just isn't strong enough and it's not gonna hold my curl the way that the mousse does. But it's great for maintaining my curls. And it's also formulated with Rice Curl Complex, which is a blend of rice, keratin, amino acids, and enzymes to hydrate, condition, and protect your hair. This is really, really great. I have been using it nonstop. I love it. All right, now let's talk about makeup. This isn't a new favorite, so I'm just gonna quickly mention it and move on, but I have been using my Encore eyeshadow so much recently. I have fallen back in love with it. I mean, I never fell out of love with it, but I have been using it a lot recently. So this is the Dose of Colors Block Party eyeshadow in the shade Encore. And honestly, this is 100% without a doubt my favorite single eyeshadow to ever exist besides ColourPop waddles i love me some waddles this is such an eye-catching beautiful bronze eyeshadow that has a little bit of a copper undertone and it has a ton of gold glitters all throughout it making it just so exceptionally marvelous <laughs> there really is no other way to describe it besides perfect it's perfect. This is one of those amazing one and done eyeshadows. You just have to rub this all over your lid, blend it out a little bit in the crease to kind of dust away the shimmer in the crease. And then that's it. You're left with the most beautiful smoky eye that just took one shadow and everybody's going to ask you what's on your lids. It's honestly that beautiful. I have this shade on my eyes right now, but I don't have it on my entire lid. I have it just really close to my lash line, as you can see, kind of like a soft blown out eyeliner. It's really beautiful and it makes your eyes pop like no other. If you have green, blue, or hazel eyes, like if you have brown with a little bit of honey to them, this is going to make them stand out so much. I love this. I do think the block party shadows are very, very, very pricey, and it's kind of insane paying that much for one eyeshadow, but I honestly believe that it's worth it. At least if you find a shade that you love and you know you're gonna wear all the time, I think it's so worth it. I truly believe that everyone who buys this will love it if they're into these colors. Like, there's no way you don't like that. There's no way. Okay, I gotta give a huge shout out, a huge quick shout out to the Wet n Wild Bad Bitch Lift Mascara. Oh my god, this is the mascara they recently launched in collaboration with Bretman Rock. I tried it out in my Get Ready With Me where I did a full face of new makeup, but I did that whole video in Spanish. I'm actually gonna link it right here if you haven't seen me attempt a whole ass makeup video in Spanish. Not my best work, not my best work. But I did discover an amazing gem in that video and that is this mascara. I cannot get enough of it, guys. It reminds me so much of my Pat McGrath mascara. You, you don't even know, okay? It's so good. It doesn't have the same shape as that one. And actually, I think that's what I love so much about this mascara is the shape. I don't know if you can tell. Let me zoom you in a second. Okay, look at the shape of this. It kind of like curves up here and I feel like that little curve is perfect for pushing up the lashes. It kind of like hugs your eye and it gets every individual lash and it pushes it up. And then I use this side, like once I've curled my lashes and they're nice and up, I use this side to add more length and even more volume and push them up even more. It's a really incredible mascara. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. I love it so much. It has quickly become one of my favorite mascaras ever and I think this is the best mascara Wet n Wild has ever done. And it's so affordable. Obviously, it's Wet n Wild, so you're not breaking the bank at all, but you're getting incredible high-end lashes, in my opinion. And it doesn't smudge on your lower lash line at all. Sometimes I'll look at my eyes at the end of the night and I'll have like little gray, blackish smudges underneath my eyes and I don't get that with this. It's so good. Okay, so I quickly want to talk about a bronzer I have been loving since I tried it. I haven't been using it for the entire month of March, but oh my gosh, 
I love this. This is the Ofra Bronzer Duo in the shade River, and this was in collaboration with Samantha March. I feel like I look really washed out in my video today, so you can't really see the beauty in this bronzer because I feel like you can't see how tan I am, which is nuts because I have never been whiter in my life. Like I am Casper the friendly ghost at the moment. I definitely need to go outside and like sit out in my yard, like on the lawn to get some vitamin D because whoa. Well, but even though I'm super pale at the moment, this has done an amazing job of making me feel bronze and glowy and even a little bit like JLo. Just like this much, like JLo, it helps. This bronzer is awesome because you do get two in one. You get a shimmery bronzer and then a matte bronzer, which is what I love about it because even though they're both warm shades, if you didn't want to go the glowy route, you can just focus your brush on the matte side and get a more matte look. But I love the combination of both. I just swirl my brush into this and then I bronze my face. I don't contour with this at all obviously it's a very warm bronzer but it's not too warm it's not like an orange and usually when I'm this fair I can't wear very very warm bronzers anyway because they look oompa loompa -y on my skin I do not find that to be the case with this at all it's like the perfect amount of warmth it's like warm enough to give you that beautiful suntan glow but not too warm where it's like What's happening? It is such a nice bronzer. I even used it today to like bronze up my chest, which again doesn't look like I did because of how white I look, but I promise you in person, if I took some makeup remover and I wiped it across my chest, you would see a giant white streak. I have just been really, really loving this bronzer. I love the whole collection. There's a blush, there's a highlight, but the bronzer to me is where it's at. It's just so yummy and warm and I love a good sheen in a bronzer that's not glitter because this is not a glitter at all. It's just a pure sheen on this side that just looks so stunning, even on the body. I love this as a body bronzer. Just get a big fluffy brush and dust it all over your body and it gives a, a very soft satin look. Oh my God, I love this blush bronzer. I love this bronzer. Speaking of warm deliciousness, guys, I have been loving this blush for like two months straight. I've been using this blush nonstop and I've never spoken about it in a video. I feel like I've never even used it in a video. And the thing is, um, ever since I redid my room, you guys know I have Bertha downstairs, which is my old vanity that Danny built me. I could never get rid of that. So I keep it downstairs and I do my makeup there from time to time. So I have a few makeup products down there that I keep that stay at Bertha. And then I have like all my makeup in this room. And then this is one of the blushes that I took down there because I was using it one day and I have completely fallen in love with it. I use it all the time now. Every single time I do my makeup at Bertha, this is the blush I put on my cheeks. This is from the brand Il Maquillage and this is their mineral baked blush in the shade poker face I truly loved baked blushes so much in my opinion some that I've tried in the past don't last on the skin I don't know if it's because they're baked their lasting power just isn't the same but a lot of the times you'll get a really beautiful look with a mineral blush but it just won't last this however is a really really gorgeous mineral baked blush that does last on my cheeks and I am in love with this shade it actually reminds me a lot of my buxom dolly blush which is one of my favorite blushes of all time you guys know the buxom wanderlust blushes incredible the color of this one is very very similar but it is a little bit more glowy it just looks a little bit warm and juicier on the cheeks i love this blush and what i love so much about it is that you can really really build it up you can apply it to your cheeks and it looks like a very soft color but once you start to buff it into the skin it creates the most beautiful peachy warm rose oh i don't even know it's such a gorgeous shade that i feel like looks prettier the more you build it up but the way that this color just buffs into the skin so beautifully it looks like your natural skin it looks like you got a little bit of sun and then you blushed a little bit because you saw a cute boy or something and that's what your cheeks look like it's such a pretty color like such a pretty color it's a blush i'm wearing on my cheeks right now now and I just added a little bit of it but I'm telling you there's something about this formula that just melts into your skin guys like you start to apply it to the skin and it, it melts into your skin I don't know how to explain it, it becomes one with the skin it looks so natural so beautiful I am completely in love with this blush like in love madly in love with this blush okay so I have two lip glosses to share with you guys that I have been loving so much since the minute I put them on my lips and these are actually the only lip products I have to share with you guys today I was actually talking about this to Jordan the other day when we were on an Instagram live together we were both on Colourpop's Instagram for an hour doing our makeup together like on a live and we were both talking about how recently we've just loved putting on lip gloss over a lip liner and that's it like just a lip liner a lip gloss and calling it a day like no lipstick no liquid lipstick that has been our go-to recently but I have been loving the vintage gloss by Jessica Liebskind and this is in the shade pink sequin it's part of their sparkling lip gloss I 
love this lip gloss so much. It's so shiny, so shimmery. It makes your lips look really, really juicy. I love the color. I actually got this in a BoxyCharm and I have been loving it ever since. The only thing, which is the most important thing, I, I hate that. Let me, let me show you. Does this lip gloss make you want to put it on your mouth? Probably not. This is so destroyed and I haven't had it for that long. And honestly, I thought maybe at first it was me putting it in there like a savage. I mean, that, that could still possibly be the case, but I don't feel like I'm that aggressive with my makeup for it to look like this. That is pretty intense and a major downfall of this product, but I love how juicy my lips look when I wear this gloss. So I honestly look past that. Like, do you see? Do you see that? That juiciness, look at that shine. Mm. I'm obsessed with this gloss. It's so pretty. It's like a see-through, sheer, sparkly pink, gorgeous. I've been loving this lip gloss a lot for like a really pouty, juicy, glam mouth. But I've also been loving this lip gloss a lot as well. I haven't been using it for that long. I mean, I just recently got the Mulan collection from ColourPop, but this has become one of my favorite luxe glosses that they have in general. And I'm pretty sure I have them all, but this one in the shade Phoenix is so, so stunning. And I personally think the Mulan collection is one of their best collections ever. Like, everything in the collection is truly, truly beautiful. I would highly recommend everything except the lip mask. I actually did not like the lip mask at all. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good at all. But everything else in that collection, <gasps> Chef's kiss, especially this gloss. It's a really pretty sheer, almost see-through shimmery champagne situation, but the glitter in it has a very strong shift. Like the shimmers look gold, but then when you move your gloss around, it has a very strong pink undertone. It's such a beautiful gloss and it looks stunning on the lips on top of any nude or any color really. It just gives you a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of shine without like being too much. It's a really nice gloss. Okay, and then we only have two more products to talk about before we end this video. It's crazy how I only have 10 products to talk about today and I feel like I've been sitting here for 45 minutes. Why do I talk so much? I used to get really good grades in elementary school, but not good conduct grades. And not because I behaved bad, but because I talked too much. Every time a teacher would send home a progress report for me, it would be like, great student, but talks too much. Does all of her work it talks too much. <laughs> anyway, I quickly want to mention my love for the 43 Beauty Rainfall 2% Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I really want to mention this because I'm always going on and on and on and on about how much I love hyaluronic acid. And so many of you guys are always DMing me or asking me like, what are my favorite products with hyaluronic acid? How can I incorporate that into my routine? What's the deal? And for that, I honestly say give the 43 Beauty Rainfall Serum a shot because it's just like pure hyaluronic acid and it is amazing. This is hands down my favorite 43 beauty product that they make I do like a lot of 43 products don't get me wrong like I really like their cleanser their moisturizer is nice but there isn't anything in the range that I'm like that is holy grail I need that in my life except this and even their turmeric face milk actually no I really like their turmeric face milk that's also holy grail for me but this has 2% HA serum and it's honestly just a blast of hydration I will use this either in the day or at night it honestly depends whenever I use this um, I apply this right before my moisturizer and I truly feel like this just locks the hydration into my skin every single time I use this I can tell a difference in how hydrated my skin looks how plump my skin looks it's the best way to dose your skin in hyaluronic acid for an affordable price I am truly truly like just I, I love this it's so freaking good okay and then my last favorite is kind of like an honorable mention because obviously I haven't been using it a lot because it's a perfume and usually people put perfume on to leave the house. I mean, that's not the case for me. I put on perfume every day, no matter what, even if I don't leave my house. I just truly enjoy smelling good. And I really believe, at least that's how it is in my brain. That's how it works for me. The way that I smell, my scent affects my mood. If I'm having a bad day, sometimes adding a spritz of a happy perfume really does change my mood a bit. Not drastically, I'm not saying putting on perfume changes the way that I feel, but I love having good, happy, warm, delicious scents around me. No matter what I'm doing, no matter where I'm going, which leads me to my next favorite. I have fallen in love with this fragrance. It reminds me so much of Light Blue from Dolce & Gabbana. This is brown sugar from the brand Fresh. You guys know I love Fresh. Their skincare is really, really nice. But I had personally never tried any of their perfumes before. And the other day I was on Sephora and I was looking at all the Fresh bottles because I think they're so cute. Like I really like the packaging on their perfumes. And I was reading the description of brown sugar and it looked like something I was really gonna like for the spring and summer. So I picked it up and I was totally right. I love this. 
This smells like lemons. This is so good. If you don't like the scent of lemons, you are not gonna like this at all. I mean, it has other sweet scents in there as well, but lemon is the first scent I pick up immediately. This is a very lemony fragrance, but don't get me wrong, it's not like limoncello from Bath and Body Works. It's a very sweet and subtle, beautiful hint of lemon. There's also honeysuckle, tangerine, warm amber, peach nectar caramel, sugared magnolia, a bunch of other really delicious, sweet, fruity scents that it's really just the perfect scent for this time of year. And I know guys, we're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere for a while. But I wanna smell like fresh lemon cookies on a nice summer morning. And I'm gonna smell like that, even if it's just in my backyard. Mm, this smells so, 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 so good. It's a very sweet scent that's not like cotton candy vanilla. It's definitely a fruity sweet. It's really, really good, and I personally find that it does last a while on my skin. It's not my most long-wearing perfume, but it does last a hot minute. The Sol de Janeiro perfume that I just recently bought off of Sephora, their classic cult scent, the one that comes in a body splash, it doesn't last. It does not last. Hold on. This guy. It smells incredible. Don't get me wrong, but it doesn't last. I spray this on my body and like an hour later, I swear I don't smell it anymore. And I feel like they made a perfume so that it could last on the skin. But because for that, I'll just buy the body splash. I feel like there's not a difference in wear with this and the body splash. Like they both last the same amount of time on the skin. So I don't know if that's worth it. You might be better off just buying the body splash, honestly. But this little fresh guy, loving. But Anyway guys, that's it. I'm sorry this video was all over the place. I feel like I am scatterbrained today. I can't even begin, look, Porter's getting up. I know I tell you guys that like in, at the end of every video, but he's like on command, on cue. I feel all over the place today. And if you guys saw my recent video, like my little vlog, you will kind of understand how I've been feeling recently. Um, but forgive me if I was just a little bit all over the place and not getting my words out in today's video. I tried my best and at least hopefully editing this video will mask all of those mistakes I made while filming. So yeah guys, uh, that completes this video. These were all the products I was loving in the month of March from my home. I have been at my home for almost a full month straight like without leaving at all. I mean, I, I recently left somewhere to pick up some medication for myself, but that was a super important necessity. Besides that, this is what I've been doing. Just, you know, working from home and uh, praying that this all ends soon. But anyway, guys, I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And at first I thought that the rubbery pointy thingies <laughs> when i spoke about their mousse in my february famous famous i used the curl talk mousse it was i used the curl talks oh my god i every time i teach a teacher oh my gosh mm, this smells so gush gush <laughs> no